a law, a decision could come by next summer, right before the elections. But the spending already happening now, the White House today is saying it'll use a billion dollars from that law in a bid to create health care jobs. Betsy McCoy says if you want to create jobs, just get rid of the law. She's with Defend Your Health Care. Um, you don't like what he's doing here, the president. Well, the, this, this agenda is spending money to spread the wealth and buy votes. If you look at the economy, the health care sector has been producing jobs even while the rest of the economy is stagnant. So the White House doesn't have to spend money to produce health care jobs. The purpose of these jobs, and it was very clear as the law was written, is quite different. It's to spread the money around. They're cutting what doctors are paid under Medicare, cutting the care available to seniors under Medicare, and at the same time, they're handing out gr grants to community organizations. They're creating jobs called promotories to people who are well-known in the community to sign people up for health well, plans. Well, are these built-in jobs and that were going to come anyway, or are they just making this up? No, they, they were built into the health okay. law. Uh, and thirdly, they're spending some $11 billion on community organizations uh, that serve illegal immigrants, largely. So this is a spread the wealth and buy so the vote program. So this is money that, that was earmarked, pardon that term, already, and the president's trumpeting it, and Democrats are trumpeting it now, or what? Well, a lot of it was announced in September when so what the was, Department what of Health and Human Services now? announced a program to reduce racial disparities, and more of it is being rolled out over time. But it's a, it's a move from high-tech jobs to take care of grandma to low-tech jobs to spread money around in the community, manufacturing jobs to buy-the-vote jobs. As you read, there's a 2.3% tax on medical devices like stents and, and uh, uh, hip replacements and pacemakers. These are driving jobs out of the country. A, a report in September announced that 43,000 jobs will be lost because of this tax in states like Indiana, Illinois, California, New Jersey. And at the same time, they're creating these community jobs. By the way, you think the Supreme Court does vote on this this summer and does Oh, there's no question that there will be a vote by June. This will be one of the most important decisions of the generation because it really says how much power does government have over the Which individual? Which way do you think the court goes? 5-4. Five, 5-4 four. Five, four what? 5-4 to overturn this unconstitutional law. I think 5-4, keep it as is. That's my bet. You know what? We'll have to pull that, what is it called, the wishbone in the turkey? We'll see who's right. I hate the whole concept <laughs> of the wishbone thing and everything else. But uh, Betsy, thank you very You're much. Welcome. Betsy McCoy.